What's up everyone? This is Nash back with another ROM review. Today I'm going to review Paranoid Android. This ROM used to be really bad ass ROM back in the KitKat and Lollipop times and it was one of the best ROM who gave hard competition to Cyanogen mode. And now this ROM is back with Marshmallow update. This ROM is based on Cyanogen mode 13. Let's start from boot animation, that cool animation from droid to cool AOS PA text gives unique appeal to this room. Once you finish your setup, you are greeted with amazing wallpaper designed by Hampus Ollison, who by the way previously designed wallpapers for OnePlus One and OnePlus Two. Now let's talk about features. You can drag and delete tiles directly from quick settings so no need to go to settings which is very convenient for me. When you swipe the notification down for very first time it will ask you whether you want to turn on the right swipe quick setting on or not which was pretty unique and you can turn this feature off obviously anytime you want. This ROM doesn't have that many features apart from normal customization such as button customization, Cyanogen mode, theme engine, quick setting customization and some new and unique screen of gestures. In fact, this ROM doesn't even have the status bar customization. I'm only talking about this ROM for OnePlus One. Nix's version of this ROM is different and it has few customization features. Also no LCD density which is kind of turn off for me. Now let's talk about those unique screen of gestures. You can open the camera by drawing O and you can trigger the airplane mode by drawing inverse V. It has so many custom options, you can customize these gestures however you want. I personally don't use screen of gestures but it's there for your use. The snapdragon camera of the ROM is nice too and with so many manual settings, it's very quick in image processing as well. No need to keep looking for zip files because this ROM supports inbuilt OTA updates and no force close or no random reboot so far which is very obvious as it's very light ROM. Now let's talk about the battery life. I got around 4 hours of screen on time which I would say decent and it can be improved with help of some exposed modules. So the ROM is light and stable with decent battery life and big name attached to it. And because the lack of some important features, I would give 3.5 out of 5. I will give the link in the description below for this ROM. So if you want to try something new, go ahead and flash the ROM and enjoy the experience of Paranoid Android. And please comment below that which ROM you want to see next week. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I make ROM reviews every week and I will see you next week.